The head of the state hospital faced a room full of concerned citizens tonight. They wanted to know how confessed killer Randall Saito escaped the facility, why did it take so long before the public was notified, and what's going to happen now that Saito's been caught. Alexander Zanes heard the community's concerns. He joins us from Kaneohe with answers from the state hospital. Alexander? Yeah, Joe, there was nearly a 45-minute question and answer session with State Hospital Administrator William May, and the real topic of conversation is people wanted to know if this kind of thing would happen again. At the heart of this whole situation, it's a breach of trust. It's in our backyard, and I guess what I'm asking is, what assurances do we have as a community that this will never happen again? Can I give you an assurance that this will never happen again? No. I'm sorry, I can't. It's, it's, a, it's a psychiatric hospital. It's not a prison. And anything shy of caging the entire campus in, patients have to be able to be given the, the level of privilege that is clinically appropriate. They were crying. One of, the, one of the, the girls was very upset, said her mom didn't want her to come to school. We might lose some enrollment because we have girls or kids that don't feel safe. We're good neighbors with, with Windward, okay? We just installed a 1,240-foot uh, fence in between our campus and, and your campus. Um, it's not a security fence per se, but it will be a deterrent that our staff should be able to get somebody should they try to, uh, to jump the fence. The concerns of the college are no different than the concerns of the community, and I'm, I'm concerned, and, you know, like I said, we've taken many steps, and we... Um, we will continue to do everything that we can to provide a safe environment for everybody. We need a timely warning when things go wrong. We in the community need to know. This has been this way for, for many, many years. Safety is paramount to me. It, it truly is. Sa uh, staff, patients, and community. Anything that we can, now I can't talk for the administration, obviously, but uh, anything that we can do to quickly, you know, to get the word out more quickly, I think it's, we have to figure it out. And I'm told the hospital is undergoing a complete review of all procedures. Seven workers right now have been paid, have placed on unpaid leave for 30 days. And also right now, all unescorted and escorted ground privileges have been put to a halt, at least for the time being. Reporting live in Kaneohe, Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News. Joe, back to you in the studio.